Hey, welcome back. Uh, we just got our new uh, HTML template uh, detected in WordPress. Uh, it doesn't have any functionality uh, really, but uh, WordPress can see this template now. And if we visit our website, we doesn't we don't have anything. Okay, we just need to activate it. Yep, that is kind of logical here. So let's activate the theme here and go back and refresh. And we can see here we have a really nice theme, or maybe not. Uh, but we got the content, and we can see that uh, it is actually the text that is from the template here. But we are lacking uh, style, uh, we're lacking the CSS, uh, it doesn't look really nice here. So what do we need to do first? Um, well, we have two things we need to do. First, we need to actually get WordPress to recognize the style sheet, so it will... Uh, output it a little bit more pretty than this and secondly we need to use some of the custom fields to actually uh, make some of this content editable from within WordPress. So the first thing about the CSS it just says style CSS and we can see it is right there next to our index.php file but even though that they're in the same directory the PHP file can't find the style because it is in a deep directory inside of WordPress. You see we're inside WP, VP content, themes, we're in Innovation Cloud, and then in here. These two files can't see each other um, directly. We need to do something more. And there is a uh, good function that you can use for, uh, for actually directing your uh, style sheet uh, into, the, into the index file. Let's just go on here. Uh, Right. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, documentation on the net about this. Uh, basically, this function get template directory URI is the function that we could use here. Um, this will, as it says here, this will re retrieve the theme directory, and meaning that it will get this VB content, themes, innovation cloud, and then if you had any extra folders in here, it will all, it would also uh, redirect you in there. But we're going to use this here to uh, to attach this to our style CSS. And now we need to use a bit of PHP code to make this dynamic. Uh, so I'm going to type the PHP opening and closing tag. And we're just going to put this in here to also, we just need to move this right here. Boom. And we're just going to need to make an echo to actually print this, and then a semicolon. So now it says we have the PHP stuff that will make it dynamic. We'll get the dynamic path, um, and then we have the style. I'm just going to put auto save on this. It is okay. So let's head back to our theme here and refresh it. Okay. So that was one line of code, and we actually have. Um, we actually have something that is working right now. And maybe you're wondering why do the images work? Because we didn't do anything to them. And they're also kind of a resource. And uh, but if you if you remember in the um, in the directory we don't have any images. And that is because all the images are actually uh, net based. So they're getting it from the net. We can see here this image here is taken from Amazon, actually, AWS. Obviously, if you had any images that were present in your directory, you would need to do the same thing for that or create an advanced custom fields. All right, so we have, we put in this line of code here to actually direct our style sheet to tell our index file where is the style sheet. Let's imagine we had uh, a more complex example where you had some JavaScript uh, in the bottom here, then you would need to do the same thing. Uh, if you had a JS folder or something, then you would need to direct the index file, tell that where is the JavaScript file, if you had Materialize or Bootstrap, whatever. Okay, so that is uh, that is the fir first part here. Uh, we, got the, we got the style sheet to work, right? In the next video, we're going to try to make these um, to make the advanced custom fields and see if we can uh, do some cool stuff with that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.